Hello and welcome to Raven's Plains. My name is Raven Black. We're here at KJFX at Walker County Airport in Jasper, Alabama. And uh, we're going to be doing some flight training in, uh, in this plane here. This is my new uh, Cessna 172SP. And uh, we're going to be using the Glim flight training program for X-Plane uh, to learn how to fly. So we're going to head over here to the tent and I'm going to show you what comes in the Glime Flight Training Program Package. Alright, I just want to start off by saying uh, this is not a commercial. I'm not paid by Glime to talk about this. I just thought it was a, a real good program for X-Plane to learn how to fly. And uh, you can pick up uh, any of their Glime products uh, from their website uh, listed below, as well as the one for X-Plane that I'll be using today. So this is what comes in the Glime package. Uh, you have uh, the box that comes with the uh, the disc, and the, it comes on CD. So you can't order this online and just do a digital download. You actually have to order it through the mail, and uh, this is what they'll be sending you. So as I said, uh, it comes with a CD that you're going to have to install. Um, and it also comes with this book about learning to fly, which goes with the basics of flight and, and a lot of other things like that, as well as talking about their other products and books for learning how to fly. And then uh, a training product catalog, which comes with, which is just a catalog of other products that they sell for learning how to fly as well. Yeah, the one downside, it does come on a disc. Luckily, it installs everything, including the videos, to your hard drive, so you don't need, need the disc again. I actually had to... Uh, set up my other computer uh, to uh, run uh, CD-ROM through the network because my current computer that I'm running uh, X-Plane on right now do has, doesn't have any physical media drives. Um, this is 2020 after all. So this is what comes with the package and now we're going to jump over and install uh, Glim to uh, X-Plane. So the install of this program is pretty simple. Um, once you find a CD-ROM drive, I networked my uh, CD-ROM drive from my other computer uh, to, and then ran the setup program on this computer and it found the X-Plane directory even in my Steam apps and is installing now and uh, will be installed shortly. Apparently installing over a network drive takes a little bit longer than usual, but uh, you only have to do this once, <laughs> so it should be alright. We should be up and running in just a moment. Alright, now that the installation is complete, I have to continue with activation. Alright, we are installed, so we're going to continue and start here. Uh, Gangster Videos Course Introduction. Play. Well, I'm going to go through these videos, and uh, when I return, we'll be back in VR. Alright, so now that I've gone through all of the start here tutorials which is a lot of videos just showing you what's going to do let's start up the flight lessons private pilot yes explore so normal climb and takeoff level from the high includes cruise flight level turns all right we're going to do all of this stuff we're going to do it in training mode so press that if you have this game on Steam, it's going to pop up and say X-Plane is attempting to launch with these parameters. All you have to do is say uh, OK and it'll kick off. So when it boots up, it's going to load into whatever your last plane was and wherever you were when you last ran, ran X-Plane. And uh, once it does that, then it's going to wait for a second and then it's going to actually load the scenario for this flight tutorial and see it loads up where I was last 
and then then it kicks off the flight tutorial which happens to be at the same place I loaded in last and so this is how it's gonna come up it's gonna be paused uh, you have probably in 2d this is where you're gonna to want to flip over to VR so go into your hardware enable VR all right, it loads into VR. So we're starting up just like VR. You're going to need this window in VR. And uh, I did a tutorial on how to bring stuff into VR um, using Move VR or uh, Oculus. And uh, we're going to do that right now. All right, now we're in VR and the lesson has started. But I can't actually see the lesson because it's on the 2D screen. So uh, I'm going to have to pull that into the plane. If you'd like to know how to do that with Oculus, um, you can go to my tutorial that is right up here, and uh, it'll run you through how to uh, do this in Oculus. But I'm pretty much going to show you now. Uh, I'm going to bring up the Oculus menu. I'm going to select my other monitor, where X-Plane is, which is right here. And then I'm going to pull just this window into X-Plane. I think I'm going to set it about right here. Press the pin icon, which will pin it in the plane. And here we go. So now I have my, my uh, <clears throat> flight lesson here in the plane. And it says release parking brake and apply full power. First thing you got to do though, it says click here to continue. All you have to do is unpause the game. Release parking brake and apply full power. It says release parking brake and apply full power. But a couple things you should do. Line up your compass with this. So we're going to line the E up here. So release parking brake and apply full power and maintain center line. So parking brake is off. Full maintain power. the runway center line. And it's going to try to pull left, so I do a little right rudder action here. Apply slight back pressure at 55 knots. Rotate at 62 knots. knots. Climb out at 74 knots. And then climb out at 74, which is right about... Continue climb to 2,500 feet. Use trim to maintain appropriate climb speed. Okay. Let's trim her out here. Yeah, this one's right. So we're climbing at right around 75, 74. Um, I kind of want to stay on the straight here. Uh, Begin crazy. level off to 2,500 feet. Okay, level off. Uh, 2,500. I'm going to cut power to 75%. Move down a little bit. I'm going to try to center that ball. I'm not going to one side. Here we go. I'm centering this ball here is what I keep talking about. I, off the top of my head, can't remember what it's called. 110 knots is what I should be doing. I'm gaining on that and a 2500 RPM. Actually speed that up a bit. Try to keep it down. Just trying to sail upwards. Reduce power to 2500 RPM. Okay. Done that. Establish normal cruise at 115 knots. 115, I'm doing 120. Trying to cruise at level. Oh. Dang it. Perform a clearing turn to the right. Uh, uh gosh, she wants to climb. Power back to the line. Okay, clearing turn to the right. Which is, uh, Turn. Down the right. Perform a clearing turn to the left. Okay, so we just stop here. And 
return to normal cruise. Return to normal cruise. Just a little more power. Well, actually, I can turn, turn left to west. All right, turn left to west. Increase Ooh. throttle to full power and raise nose. I kind of went a little bit past west. Perform a cruise climb to 3,500 feet. Okay, increase power, cruise climb. Hundred five knots. Oh, whoa. Doing a cruise climb to 3,500 feet on west. Begin level off to 3,500 feet and return to normal cruise. All right, returning to normal cruise. I'm gonna go down, the nose down a little bit. Down. Down. Turn right to east. Turn, come on right up. Try to keep the ball in the center. Yeah, okay, let's do it correctly. Uh, try to stay at the same elevation. Turn left to west. All right, we're at east. Turning left to west. Just another turn here. Let's fall in the center. There we go. This turns way better. All right, oops, I didn't quite make it all the way to the west. Come on. Reduce power to 2,200 RPM and maintain altitude. 2,200. Perform a cruise descent oh. to 2,500 feet. Cruise descent down. All right, going down. Level off at 2,500 feet and return to normal cruise. All right, leveling off. 25, ooh. 2,500. All right, almost, come on. And a little more power. Yeah, Turn right. left to south. Turn left to south. And to, I want to uh, keep the nose straight. And I didn't need more power because I lost a bunch here. Alright. Turning left to south. Going south. Warp to landing. Oh. So it will do this where it'll warp you to landings and other things like that. So, all right, here we go. Uh, maintain 90 knots. All right, here goes nothing. Maintain 90 knots and a stable descent. Okay, this is. Oops. It's not 90 knots. 
Alright, 90. Apply 10 degrees knots. of flaps and maintain 80 knots. Okay. So, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, yeah, flaps. Whoa, one, one degree. Choice. Okay. Maintain 80 knots. Man, that thing just went straight down. In 80. Apply 20 degrees of flaps and maintain 75 knots. Okay, well, I'm trying to get back to 80. All right. Full flaps. Wow. Apply full flaps and maintain 70 knots. Trying to maintain 70 or 70. And I got like full power going on here and I am descending. There we go. Get down. End of lesson. Whew, man. That was uh, nerve wracking. Um, but yeah, I'm learning it. Look at the balls way off. Um, I got some stuff to work on, but hey, let's jump out of here and let's see how I did. All right, let's see how I did. Uh, let's see, flight time 35 minutes. I think that's what that is. Infraction time, 7 minutes and 23 seconds. Oof. Uh, looks like I have a lot of engine RPM problems. Here, look at engine RPM for 44 seconds, engine RPM for 35 seconds. That one's really hard to watch. You know, I've, I've, this is the first time I've ever even looked at the engine RPM. Uh, apparently, as you can tell, I'm not a pilot yet. But I will make my way through these lessons and hopefully for the better. Um, yeah, bank angle. Oh, yeah, I went over my bank angle. Like, did it for two seconds here. I was trying to fix that while I was flying. Throttle setting ish. Yeah. But engine RPM. That's the number one thing I gotta watch. Indicated airspeed is a little bad there, but. And then that flat position when the flaps just went full flaps, like. Uh, I did not mean to pull those through, that's for sure. So yeah, this is the report that Glime will give you when you finish a flight, so you can go through and see what you need to work on. As you can see, I, th I thought there was 27 lessons, but this thing says 25. There may be more in here. No, it's 25, so... So yeah, I have a few things to work on. About 7 minutes and 23 seconds of stuff to work on but it's not so bad for the introduction to flight lesson. So you got to start somewhere. I hope you enjoyed this first flight lesson. Uh, this is going to be a new series on my channel and I'll be going through all of the Glime um, lessons and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe um, to be notified of uh, when I do new content. Well, let's see if I can land this plane, and uh, until next time, I'll see you in the skies.